This is the 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery from Pumsyank. Pumsyank? Pumsyank. In the box, you've got the battery with the nylon strap, which you can remove if you want to. Terminal screws in two different lengths. Two extra washers, terminal caps, your user manual. This is the standard 12 volt, 100 amp battery, 100 amp hour BMS, which means it's a continuous discharge of 100 amps. It says it has overcurrent protection at 300 plus minus 50 amps. Either way, I would fuse this battery and not rely on the overcurrent protection. It claims to have low temp and high temp protection. We will put that to the test. First, let's give it a charge and do a capacity test. We are charging the battery using the Vamptech DC power supply, charging at 73 watts. We're going to charge it up, let it rest for a little while, and then charge it back up, hoping for a well balanced battery before the test. All right, so it's fully charged to 100%. Now let's do a capacity test. First, let's reset the tester. Pick it up. Now let's do a 10 amp test to check the capacity, the overall amp hours. Here we go. Let's see what we get. All right, so three hours and 49 minutes into the test. We're at 38 and a half amp hours. Nine hours and 19 minutes into the test. It's getting late. 93.9 amp hours. Well, I'm going to bed and see the results in the morning. All right, so the test is complete and we landed on 107.28 amp hours. That is a solid pass for the Pumsyank lithium iron phosphate battery. Now let's take a look at the insides. Huh. Whoops. All right. What? You guys have seen my video on the watt cycle battery. Um, this looks like the exact same build and the same BMS, same factory, maybe. All right, you got your negative cables right here and your main positive right here, screwed and glued, balance leads, temp sensors, glued right here, 
So I actually got the battery pack out of the enclosure this time. They use the double sided tape at the bottom. Um, it's a QR code. Let's see if I can get something out of that and give you some information on the cells. Straightforward four cells in series connection. Welded together. The build looks decent. To scan the QR code and did a search on the code provided, made by Great Power, made in June 2nd, 2024. We did test way beyond the rated capacity. Good quality cells. Now let's do some temperature sensor tests. This is the temp sensor. We are going to test the high temp protection first. Putting a charge to the battery and we are going to use a heat gun. See if the charge cuts off. Let's see. Okay. I cut off. That's great. And let's see if it starts. Yep. Just again. And it cut off. So I'll say that is a solid pass for the high temp protection on this battery. Cool. So for the low temperature protection, I have uh, this frozen salt water with a hole in the middle and put the temperature sensor inside and see if it cuts off. It should be relatively quickly. All right. There you go right away it's pretty cool it's working let's heat it up and we're charging again let's do it again yeah great the temperature protections are working really well i wasn't expecting anything else since it's basically the same battery as the watt cycle. Let's put it back together again. So reassembled, re-glued, taped. Uh, the Humsenk 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery uh, performed really well on our tests. Pretty much identical to the watt cycle 100 amp hour battery. If you want, you can check out my review of that one next. I will leave some links, affiliate links, in the description below and a link to the Hamsienk website for you to check out. Not going to talk about the price because they change all the time. So just check it out for yourself. I am working on a load test station for us to do some 
more in-depth tests. All right. See you in the next one.